हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज चेतन वदड़िया एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व एमसीक्यूज ऑफ एनसीईआरटी एग्जाम्पलर इन बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन वी हैव वन फुल सेक्शन ऑफ एमसीक्यूज एंड इन एनसीईआरटी टेक्स्ट बुक वी आर नॉट हैविंग दैट मच एमसीक्यूज एंड एवरी टाइम दे आर आस्किंग दिस एमसीक्यूज मोस्ट ऑफ द एमसीक्यूज फ्रॉम एनसीईआरटी एग्जाम्पलर सो आई थिंक वी शुड सॉल्व ऑल दिस क्वेश्चन वन बाय वन वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व लुक यर वन टू फोर क्वेश्चंस बिलोंग टू यूक्लिड्स डिविजन लेमा बट दिस टाइम दिस ईयर दे हैड कैंसल दिस सो वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन टू फोर क्वेश्चन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव आंसर नंबर फाइव लेट एस सी द लार्जेस्ट नंबर विच डिवाइड्स सेवेंटी एंड वन ट्वेंटी फाइव लिविंग रिमाइंडर्स फाइव एंड एट रिस्पेक्टिवली सो एक्चुअली वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट एच सी एफ ऑफ सेवेंटी एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव बट दे आर टेलिंग लिविंग रिमाइंडर फाइव एंड एट रिस्पेक्टिवली सो वॉट एवरी टाइम दे नीड फाइव एंड एट रिमाइंडर सो फर्स्ट वी नीड टू सब्ट्रैक्ट फाइव फ्रॉम द सेवेंटी सो सॉरी सेवेंटी माइनस फाइव विल गिव यू सिक्सटी फाइव एंड हियर वन ट्वेंटी फाइव रिमाइंडर दे नीड एट सो सब्ट्रैक्ट दैट एट ऑल्सो नाउ वन ट्वेंटी सॉरी Again, I am doing one twenty-five minus eight will give you one one seven. Now we need to find out the HCF of sixty-five and one one seven. So that we can do with the help of prime factorization. Sorry, sixty-five. I don't know why I am making mistake today. Five one three thirteen thirteen one. So these are the prime factors of sixty-five and then one one seven. So I think uh, we can take nine is there. So three, three three is a nine twenty seven. So three nine is a twenty seven. Again three, one three thirteen, thirteen one. So now the highest common factor between these two, you can see. Thirteen is common between th these two. So thirteen is your HCF. You can see any term with thirteen. Yes, thirteen is here. so your answer or you can say the hcf for the largest number which divides 70 and 125 leaving remainder 5 and 8 respectively if you want to check you can divide 70 with the help of 13 so if you divide 70 by 13 you will get remainder 5 and if you divide 125 by 13 you will get remainder 8 you can check also okay moving towards question number 6 if two positive integers A and B are written as a equals to x cube y square. Means again they had given us factors. Answer number six. What they said? These are the two numbers a and the factors of a are x into x into x x cube and y into y. And the factors of b are x y cube means x into y into y into y. Now x and y y are prime numbers, so these are prime numbers. Find out HCF. Again, we need to find out highest common factor HCF. So here common is a, a x and one y also, and again one y. So highest common factor of a and b, a and b that is, you can say x y and square two times y. So this is the answer. You can. See if you are getting x y square, ah uh, b b is the correct answer. So this way you can find out that also. Moving towards question number seven, and let us solve answer number seven. Right. So if two positive integers p and p and q can be expressed as p equals to a b square, q equals to a q b, then same type of question. This is same as this only, but here they instead of finding HCF, here they told that A B being prime numbers, then LCM. Here we need to find out the lowest common multiple. So same way, we we have to do like this prime factors. Let me write down and show you. Let me say P equals to A B square. So A into A B square. So B into B, and Q. Is a cube b means a into a into a and b, right? A cube b. So now LCM. So how we are finding LCM? For LCM, first you need to find out the common terms. 
A is common and this B is also common. Now nothing common. So remaining term one by one that also you need to take. This B, this A is also remaining, this A. So you can see circle on all the terms. Now this is your answer. So A into A into A, A cube, B square. Directly you can do or I can teach you other method also just for HCF, HCF you can see here. You just need to see X cube and X. So whatever, uh, whichever is low, you can see the power of this is 3, the power of this is 1. So directly take X as 1 and here uh, Y square, Y cube. So this is lesser. So Y square. This way directly also you can do for HCF and for LCM. You need to look at the greater term a and a cube. So write down a cube, a cube is greater and b square and b raised to 1 only. So here 2 power. So b square you can see. So same way. So for highest common factor you need to take the terms with lower power and for uh, higher lowest common multiple you need to take terms with bigger power and this way directly also you can find out LCM or HCF. Okay, moving towards the next question. You can see this. Guys, question number 8. The product of a non-zero rational number and an irrational number is. So, this is simple. Non-zero. If you multiply zero with any term, what will happen? Zero with any term will give you zero only. That's why they say non-zero. So, any rational numbers, either positive, negative, or negative, whatever you want to take. Multiply with an irrational number, a term with root. So what you will get? You will get a number having root only. So here every time you will get answer always irrational. Always irrational. Okay. They say non-zero. If they had not included this non-zero, then you can write down sometime rational, sometime irrational. Okay. So moving towards the next question, guys. Ninth one. The least number that is divisible by all the numbers from 1 to 10, both inclusive is. So here, here most important thing is guys, this question is very important because I have seen this question in NTSC exam also. I have seen this question in many competitive exam. I have seen this question in many board examination of class 10th also. So this question is very important guys. I can directly tell you the answer is 2520 but I am going to show you the method also how you are getting 2520. So first you need to find out the factors of all the numbers from 1 to 10. So factor of 1 is 1 only. Factor of 2 is 1 and 2. I am not writing 1 because 1 is common that's why. Now factor of 3 is 3. Now factor of 4 is you can say 2 into 5, 1 into 5, so 5, 6, you can see this, okay, 6, 2 into 3, 7, 7, 1, 8, so 2 into 2 into 2, just you need to find out the prime factors of all this, 3 into 3 and 10, that is 2 into 5. Now, first of all, common, we don't have common as we were having, but here, 2, 2, 2 and 2 and 2 in all this term. So 1, 2. Common from again 2 common this and this. Okay. 2. Now 3 common. 3, 3, 3. Now remaining. You can write down 1 by 1. 1, 2 is also remaining. 1, 3 is also remaining here. 5 common now 7 single 7 so now if you will multiply let us multiply and check 2 2 is a 4 3 is a 12 2 3 is a 6 and 6 5 is a 30 so I am going to do that 7 so 12 into 6 5 is a 30 into 7 so directly 12 3 is a 36 so 360 into 7 7 0 is a 0 7 6 42 4 carry 7 3 is 21 25 2 5 2 0 is the perfect answer guys you can see so this way you need to find out uh, lcm 
but if you don't know directly i will suggest you because in many competitive exams they are asking this so 2520 is the final answer you can by heart this also directly okay moving towards the last question of this today answer number 10 just you need to see the decimal expansion of the rational number number one four five eight seven by one two five will terminate after so what you need to do you need to find out the prime factors of this 125 and you can say 10 125 into 10 so 10 means 2 into 5 and 125 means 5 5 is a 25 3 times 5 1 2 3 3 times okay so these are the prime factors so you can write down 1 4 5 8 7 upon 2 raised to 1 and 5 raised to 4 so according to the power you can see highest power which one is higher highest power or the degree is 4 so this will terminate after 4 decimal or before 4 decimal you can say so how many decimals you will get here 4 decimals answer the decimal will come here 4 5 8 so whatever answer will be there so you will get 4 decimal places so this is the final answer guys so this way you can find out the solutions or please try to solve more number of mcqs actually mcq is the easiest part but most of the students are losing their marks in mcq section only so guys prepare it positively thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel guys